Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Insulation of PostgreSQL. In this tutorial, we will learn to install PostgreSQL on Ubuntu Linux operating system and Windows operating system. We will also learn to connect to PostgreSQL database and set password for the database. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system, Windows 7 operating system, and a working internet connection. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with either of the mentioned operating system and have working knowledge of any programming language. PostgreSQL is a relational database management software. It is a powerful and most advanced open source database system. It runs on various platforms such as Linux, Windows and Mac operating system. First, we will see how to install PostgreSQL on Linux. Press Ctrl Alt T keys simultaneously to open the terminal. In the terminal window, type sudo apt hyphen get update and press enter. Enter the administrative password if prompted. This command will update the Ubuntu's default repositories. Wait until it finishes all the updates. Press Ctrl L to clear the screen. Next, type sudo apt hyphen get install PostgreSQL and press enter. We can see the installation process has begun. Press Y wherever there is a prompt to confirm the configuration. Installation will take some time to complete depending upon your internet speed. Now we can see that the installation has been completed successfully. Press Ctrl L to clear the screen. By default, a user account called Postgres is created during installation. But there is no password set for this user account. To set the password, type sudo hyphen u postgres psql postgres and press enter. Enter your system password if prompted. Notice that the prompt has changed to postgres equal to hash. At the prompt, type slash password postgres. Immediately, you will be prompted to set a new password for the postgres user. I will enter the password as postgres. You can enter a password of your choice. Enter the same password one more time. Please remember this password for future use. Next, type select version open bracket close bracket semicolon and press enter. Do not forget to put the semicolon at the end of each statement. The PostgreSQL version that we have installed now is displayed on the terminal. This indicates that we have successfully installed PostgreSQL. I have increased the terminal font size for this demo. Hence the output is seen in a different window. So I will hit the Q key to exit. You may not be required to do so. Now let us see how to disconnect from the server. Type slash Q and press enter to disconnect from the server. Notice that we are back at the command prompt of the terminal. Every time when you want to work with PostgreSQL, you need to be connected to the server. PSQL is an interactive terminal program provided by PostgreSQL. Using PSQL tool, we can execute SQL statements, manage database objects, etc. Another way to connect to a database is using pgadmin GUI application. We can interact with PostgreSQL database server through this interface. We will be demonstrating all features using pgadmin 
in this series. Switch back to terminal. Let us again connect to the PostgreSQL database from the command line. For this, type sudo psql hyphen capital U postgres hyphen h localhost hyphen capital W and press enter to connect to the server. Hyphen h is the host name or IP of the local server. Enter the password for Postgres user which you have set after installation. We can see the prompt changes to Postgres. Press Ctrl L to clear the screen. Let us verify the PostgreSQL database and whether the server has been started by a simple query. Type select current underscore user comma now semicolon. We can see the username and current date as output. Hit cube key to exit. During installation, some sample databases are created automatically. Let us have a look at them. Type slash list or slash l and press enter. We can see the below database names that are available in PostgreSQL server by default. Hit cube key to exit. To change a database, type slash c database name. I will type slash c postgres semicolon. Then type the postgres password. We can see a message saying you are now connected to database postgres as user postgres. We can create our own database and table as per our requirement. All the database commands can be executed from the command line. Type slash q to disconnect from the server. Now let us see how to install pgadmin. pgadmin can be installed by using any one of the following methods on Ubuntu Linux operating system. Go to Ubuntu Software Center or Synaptic Package Manager Search for PG Admin and install. For more details, refer to the Linux Spoken Tutorial on our website. Or in the terminal, type sudo apt-get install PG Admin 3 and press enter. I have already installed PG Admin in my machine. I will show how to open PG Admin. Click dash home on the top left corner of the desktop. In the search box, type PG Admin. The PG Admin icon appears. Click on it. The PG Admin interface opens. Now, let us learn to install PostgreSQL on Windows operating system. Open your web browser and go to www.postgresql.com org slash download. Click on the Windows link. Then click on the download the graphical installer link. I have installed Postgres version 9.3.x in Linux operating system. Now I would like to install the same version in Windows also. You can also install the latest table version. So click on the previous supported version and look for version 9.3.x. Click the link near to the windows icon. It will open a dialog box to save the file. Click on the save file button. It will take some time to download the file. Wait until it is finished. I have already downloaded it in my machine in the downloads folder. Go to the downloads folder and double click on the downloaded file. It will open a window. Click on the run button. In the setup window, click on the next button. Select the components and click on the next button. In the installation directory, click on the next button. Enter the password for Postgres and retype one more time. Click on the next button.
Insulation has started. Wait until it finishes completely. Next, click on the finish button to complete the insulation. Lastly, exit from the wizard. Let us see how to open the PostgreSQL command line on Windows. Click on Start, then All Program, then PostgreSQL and PSQL to open the command line. We can see the Postgres prompt. Type Select Version, semicolon and press Enter to see the installed version of PostgreSQL. This indicates that we have successfully installed in Windows. Close the window. Let us open the PG Admin from Windows. Click on Start, then All Program, then PostgreSQL and PG Admin 3 to open the GUI interface. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to install PostgreSQL on Ubuntu Linux and Windows operating system. As an assignment, connect to the server and list the default available database. Change to any one of the available database. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from our team will answer them. The spoken tutorial forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use these discussions as instructional material. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.